the Oklahoma chapter of the International Association of Arson Investigators sponsored testing to document the effect of gas dispersion when propane gas is re released into a room. This testing was conducted in conjunction with the October 1999 conference held in Lawton, Oklahoma and with the assistance of several experts in the propane industry. The video that follows documents the facility where the gas was released until we ignited gas and caused explosion. Complete data was recorded for a series of tests to assist others in explaining gas dispersion and gain insight in investigation of propane gas explosion and fires as it relates to origin and cause determination. Got it. Okay. This is Gary Koch. Yeah. We're going to be going through a short yeah. description of the and test setup. And this is on our test room number two. In this room, we will have gas coming out of it. 3 8 flare connection and it's uncapped, it's unrestricted, will be flowing 86 cubic feet per hour propane into the room. With that as our gas source, we are then sensing through a series of sensors throughout the room to detect the gas levels up to the lower limits of flammability and also that will give us some dispersion by itself as it flows in the room, but also to simulate occupants moving within the room. We have a mannequin that will move moving back and forth to cause uh, additional dispersion. We have a sensor mounted to the mannequin that will also be detecting the gas levels. To cause ignition of the gas, we have a 12 volt sensor and it's mounted to a pulley so that we can start at the lower level and surf up and down at this point so that we will know from the gas sensor that's mounted on it what the gas concentration is at the various points and we will be able to tell the level that we're at by the index we have on the wall going up through seven feet. So we will know the gas concentration. We'll also know the level of the gas concentration. When we ignite, we also will have video from the camera mounted in this explosion proof box. It's mounted in this explosion proof box so that we will be able to actually visual videotape the ignition and flame front. When we move to ignition, we will have this door open. Until, until we're ready for ignition, we'll, this door will be closed. A few minutes before ignition, we're going to open this door. This leaves air from the room number three. Move into room number two and also, at time of ignition, we will be monitoring with the video camera on the west wall, the flame front as it comes towards that, as it rolls out of this door. So with that, we'll begin our test. Thank you. When the video was edited, the ignition and flame front were developed, was reduced to 120 frames per second, so that the Detail can be seen in the flame front that is often described as a ball of flame when observed by someone who is caught in a building when gas is ignited. Ignition was set with the igniter approximately two and a half to three feet off the floor. Sensors were all going off at this time, indicating we had gas at least 20% LEL and higher. Some sensors were reading above 
L-E-L at this time. This shows the igniter being surfed up and down to detect the gas at various levels. Lowering to ignition. This is viewing from room 3 into 2. Videos were made of the exterior from the southeast, southwest, and northwest position of the building. Firemen approached the scene at approximately 2.5 to 3 minutes from ignition for suppression of the fire inside. After suppression, the building was observed and both the south wall of rooms number two and three were blown out. The west wall of room three and running north of three was blown out. The, room, the roof over both rooms two and three were blown up. Notice the damage to the roof line. This is looking at the entry into room three. Test results were con conclusive in showing propane gas will disperse within a room when gas is released and it is affected by occupant movement. Gas concentration levels in the room varied and cannot be predicted on the simple premise that propane is more dense than air, therefore it settles, pools, or puddles. It is definitely affected by other factors that must be considered for this specific incident. Flame fronts can easily travel from the room where ignition occurs to adjoining rooms or areas, sometimes making the source of ignition difficult to identify.